I'm Barry Godin and welcome to another adventure. I'm at Chester of all places. Finished work mid-afternoon, two trains up here and yeah we're gonna see what happens. Been back home a couple of days after Pembrokeshire, literally three days. So it's twi twice in Wales in two weeks which is pretty cool. And there might be a third coming up. But what's the plan of this one? What's inspired this trip? Well, I had a few days off before I did a long stint at work and I've got a friend who lives in North Wales I haven't seen in about four, five, six years, which is terrible. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go and see him. There's an amazing divide through England and Wales called the Offers Dyke, which is very old. Hopefully bringing some more historic facts later on. And so I'm then going to ride down that from north to south. I have another friend who lives in Ledbury. And I'm going to see him, do a camp with him. And then you're gonna try and ride back home, all in four days. Squeeze it in while you can. The weather's looking pretty good, hopefully it'll stay dry. May not be super sunny, but I can deal with that. But I'm sure you guys want a bit of wet, <laughs> hopefully not. But yeah, so let's see where spring get away. That sign said, welcome to Wales. It's my first border crossing. I think this whole trip's gonna be border crossings. Sorry, I was completely unplanned. I didn't know I was gonna say that. Oh, there's no sign on that one. Right, let's crack on with this adventure. My friends are scared of me. Can I just say, I've Google, this is Google Roots map routes to start off with before I get to my mates. Half Chester took me off some weird path and park and it was amazing. Always choose the long way around. Never go, you know what, I should just stick to the road. Take that risk and get off and it's well fun. But I quickly stopped here, it was a bit of a road. And some cows which is quite nice, I didn't know they're here. Um, I've just been riding for like suburbia, a lot of climbing up hills. You realise I'm climbing to North Wales, it's quite uphill. But over in the distance, I've come from London, been in loads of towns, been riding through towns, but when you see a mountain on the horizon, <laughs> you know you're somewhere special. I'll be up there soon. Woohoo! Not quite sure why I'm so excited, but I am. Cows! Um, oh, wow! Been going about an hour. All right, guys. All right. Been going about an hour and a half, and I've suddenly the roads are so quiet. That's now five people have found us walking in the middle of the road. Genius. I have really enjoyed this first part of my journey. I think again, there's something to do with leaving work and then within a few hours being in pure countryside. Oh, it means so much to a Londoner. It's wonderful. I'm very excited, and also I think I'm excited to see my mate as well. He kept warning me about this hill he lived on. And you know what? He does live on a big whopping hill. But then everyone lives a big hill in Wales, in North Wales. So yeah, just about to go and meet him. We're gonna pick up this journey together tomorrow. Good night.
wonderful night last night. So great catching up with some old friends. I used to ride with Tim, we used to be in bands together. He married his wife last weekend. So I have to say we had quite a lot of bubbles last night. We have loads of bubbles left over. So it took a while to get going this morning. Also, it's a bit gray, a bit cloudy. It's kind of cold, but then quite hot. <laughs> it's a bit one of those days, but over here, we have a patch of blue sky developing. But I've had great tracks all morning, amazing bridleways, a few forest roads. I forgot about being in Wales, I'm gonna do loads of forest roads. But the views I keep getting, I'm climbing quite a lot and up and over mountains and little valleys, but wow, that's amazing. That's why I stopped here, I was like, that's it. I'll have to talk to you about it. So having a good, good day. Um, I have to be honest, this route, off, I put on the map, offers Dyke, MTB and Nick someone's route off of commute actually. I had a four day route for a commute and I've nicked a bit of it and changed it a bit and made it my own. I have no idea where I'm going, I'm literally following the line on my Garmin. Um, it's all new, unexpected, not sure what to, what's going to be around the corner. I'm also not sure quite where the office Dyke is in relation to where I am. So hopefully at some point I'm going to find this dip and then I can show you it and then talk to you about it. But I actually don't know quite where I am or where I'm going which is wonderful, it's a really nice feeling. But yeah, feeling good, climbing well. Um, I did my first kind of walk with a bike, which is quite steep, and I haven't, haven't been for a long distance off-road ride of my own for a little while, in terms of just sit there and do the miles. Um, I've got some miles to do, between Tim's and my other mate's Jeff's, I've got 120 to do in two days, and I need to meet Jeff in the afternoon tomorrow, so I've got a fair bit, but Usual style nowadays, just see what happens, go with the flow. It's all good. But yeah, hopefully this blue sky comes around and we get a little bit of sun. And that's gonna be particularly nice, especially when it comes to seeing the landscape. The gray flat light is a bit, uh, but yeah, it's stunning. So beautiful. Very happy bunny. Let's see what's over here. I found myself on the trails of Clang Degla Trail Centre. It's a bit bumpy, but it's going to be fun. You can't beat riding a trail centre on your bike packing bike. One, it feels naughty. Two, it's really, really fun. And free. The faces you get off only one else is like, huh? What's he doing? It's like he's carrying sandwiches around the blue route. But yeah, I've uh, actually snuck out the top. So sadly, I didn't give you much descending in Klangdegla. Mostly all the climbing routes, but still really, really fun. Now at the tops of everywhere. And I hope I earn a descent now. Hopefully around this corner is a big hill.
40 miles per hour. <laughs> Not my best idea. <sighs> Clang Gollum at the canal. A quick, quick drink and a coffee, which was nice. And then I'm literally cussing off only five miles of today, just trying to get to the halfway point of this bit in terms of to go meet my mate tomorrow. And I thought, oh, well, I'll plan my own route. There was a road, which with no chevrons, and I thought, oh, I could ride all the way up that. There was another off-road route, which is not off-road, it was just a track on the map. And I thought, well, if I have to push or walk and enjoy myself, I'll be right, because there were new cars. This. It's been the walk from hell. It's like pushing up a mountain, it's so steep. So rocky. Good training, but can't overly say I'm enjoying it. A bit moist. <laughs> As I say, sometimes, I might be rewarded around the corner, but sometimes the extra off-road route isn't always your best choice. Last night I was treated to the Milky Way, a full sky for the stars, planet, shooting stars. And my view this morning, not very much. <laughs> White out. So last night I managed to find water, I managed to get a little bit better and not being so scared at asking people for help. Um, I was running around this tiny little town before I turned off off road. Couldn't find a tap anywhere. There was a church, I saw this graveyard, but no church with a water tap sadly. So there was a guy outside his house. I was like, oh, can I have some, can I have some water please? Um, and he actually really, really kindly helped me out. Um, had a really great chat. He's been here in this valley for 50 years. I'm just looking at how beautiful it is and everything, but yeah, I'm getting a little bit more, a little bit better at asking people, but look at where we are today. It's quite spectacular. Last night was mind blowing. I've really enjoyed it, but Miss Mist has a different quality to it. these county signs. Apparently I'm just going harsh rob shit. Wonderful morning, smashing some miles. Some nice flat roads, a lot of gates this morning, then a lot of flat roads, and now on a canal. It was a bit overgrown in one part, quite not really used. It's a, it's an unused canal, which is sad. 
there's no boats at all or no no one's ever used a boat down here for many years because it kind of gets stopped at roads and stuff but it's very pleasant to ride along and as it's so wild sorry bridge woo, as it's so left to wild there's so much wildlife things springing out of bushes dragonflies herons you name it they're everywhere um yeah i'm quite happy about today because yesterday i ended up doing 40 miles 1,900 meters of climbing which is quite a lot so the view's spectacular um so today i need to get some miles in i've got like 70 miles to do today i'm glad it's a little bit flatter swannies hello so yeah it's going well still quite early i started early this morning i got going about eight then a bit of filming and a bit of faffing which pretty much about half past eight but that's not bad going for me right I'm going to concentrate now because you don't know me and canals sometimes get rather close and these bushes are really close as well I'm holding it in such a weird position and I'm not looking at the camera sorry right hopefully coffee and some drinks in Welshpool could say the sheep are hot and they're trying to stay in the shade. <laughs> oh, they're off. Sorry, lads. well fed, found a nice canal side pub, had a turkey, cranberry and brie melt, oh, we chips, that's going to keep me fueled up, it's got a lot of miles to do, done 30 already, it's about one o'clock and I've probably got another 50 to go I think, so just going to get pedalling and keep it going but really enjoying it, I love a bit of canal, now it's flat and fast but still really, really interesting, Heron. Whoop, winner. Been trying to get a Heron on film. It's quite nice. I've just come through a gate and I instantly recognise this place. You might have seen the Welsh Ride Thing video. I rode from Church Streatham into Wales to start the Welsh Ride Thing and I went via this route. It's amazing to go and ride somewhere twice without even knowing it, really. I just checked on the map and it was exactly here. But yeah, got to recognise a view. So sadly, I'm now off the canal and off my office dike path. And I never got to show you the office dike. I did do a little bit of internet research and realized there's only one section of the office dike, which is only three miles long. And that's at the bottom of South Wales. One day I'll show you because I want to see it myself. So as far as I know, the office dike, not that many historian, was built by King of Mercia. And Mercia or Mercian is um, where England is now. So whether it was to stop the Welsh getting into England, <laughs> I assume so, rather than stopping the, uh, the English getting into the world, Wales. Oh, so I've done, oh, sorry, fast bit and then a hill, so it's not gonna be all very fast. Um, so now I'm off on my own little Google Maps adventure. Um, I plan to a place called Clun, there's Clung Castle. I'm looking forward to seeing that. That's a bit of a milestone because then that's 100 miles from my mate Tim down to Clun. Um, and I've done so far today, ooh, 37 miles. And I've got 30 more miles to do after I get to Clun. So I think it will be a 70, 80 mile day. I'm a bit hot, 
I hope these roads are a bit flatter and less up and down, up and down. But I'm sure they will be, as I am in Wales still, don't forget. But the office dike path was really, really great. Really, really enjoyed it. Great bit of off-road in there. But yeah, let's see where my next bit of adventure takes me. Sometimes again, those off-road decisions <laughs> get a bit wrong. After my, of course, that wasn't the end of the route or the end of the off road. Got two massive mountains to go up and down. Got hard work. It's only got very, very hot with not much wind. Good view though. Climbed a lot. You do around here climb a lot very quickly. So I'll kind of charge, charge my phone. Bit of a mess. Oh, and I was trying to go a bit faster and go the wrong way as well. I'm trying to go a bit faster to meet my mate, but. Let's just see what happens. Um, I've climbed a long way up. I've been walking around the edges of some farmer's fields. I had to go through some bits because there's fences up. And now this is apparently where the track goes through to join some forested track over there and up and over. Not as it only breaking the fence, but there's also nothing the other side. It's just big shrubbery and plants. Not what I needed right now. Um, it's a nice view, lovely view. Very high up, but I don't know what to do. So at the edge of one of the fields, there's a gate gate to no path. You've been stupid, we'll give it a go. Oh my goodness me. Will I ever make it? Amazingly, I'm getting through, but I don't know if I recommend this part of the route. <laughs> Maybe 20, 40 years ago when this wasn't all grown up. It's also gorse, more gorse, fern taller than me, and brambles. What a wonderful combination. Voted the worst bride away of 2021. Oh. And I've done a lot of rubbish bride aways. <laughs> no way. Ha. From out of nowhere, it's like a fire road. That was a mission. Mission I'm through, I'm tingly everywhere. Ooh. I thought I was done with this, but no. Before anyone complains, sign says that's a bride away. One of those bride aways, you might want to give a miss. Oh, I'm so moist. It's unbelievable. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
for a nice sheepy blue t-shirt and I'm, I'm a disaster I need to get to this road which is hopefully just up here and I need to replan I can't do any more road off-road if it's like this I need to get going you know me I, I said well I'm getting off the office dike and blah blah blah, blah. that was two hours ago I'm like three miles in two hours crazy it's a venture for you, isn't it? <laughs> Oh my God, I finally made it to Clun or Clan or Clon or wherever you want to say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm exhausted and I'm, t I'm so many hours late. It's now half past five. I'm meant to meet my mate at six <laughs> and that's 30 miles away. So now I've just rung him. He's going to ride 10 miles closer and I'm going to have to ride 20 now. So yeah, I might put some tunes on, <laughs> get some get some beats in the head and just get my head down and get going. So probably won't know more filming now but until I maybe I won't film something <laughs> but um oh I'm tired I'm very thirsty <laughs> tonight's water and half a shower it comes welcomed to Kingsland Rugby Club genius Coffee and cake in Leominster. Now we made it to Hampton Court Castle. entrance to the castle we thought you know what we've got time to kill we'll go inside it the gardens are spectacular we haven't seen the castle yet but it's looking very very nice and it's really sunny please don't leave children because otherwise they get lost forever into the maze <laughs> Oh, wow, 
how exciting clicks. Would you cycle around the world? Would I? Yeah. Yeah. But maybe. This is Mr. Jeff. <laughs> we know each other from doing the Sockle Touring Festival, which is an incredible festival that happens every year. All like-minded tourists get together. And we know we do that film chat, don't we? We do, it's great. And we also do the um, programme for these films shown at the festival as well, which is always very exciting to discover and explore those films. What a nice impromptu stop at Hampton Court Castle. Quite a lot of animals on the wall. Not sure Jeff liked that, <laughs> but it was quite an amazing place to see. The gardens were spectacular. And going kind of working your way through through the maze, up and down the tower and discovering this sunken garden behind the back of the waterfall. A real highlight. But now the sun is out. It's roastingly hot. I'm doing this shot now before I sweat too much, which I was going to end up with a mess soon. I don't know what I'm going to do with my journey. I might end it today. I might carry on tomorrow. Just going with the flow, enjoying myself and riding with a buddy, which hasn't happened yet. It's been for years. We finally made it happen. Are you the Yeah. But I'm sure there's another coffee and cake along the way home. We're on third coffee and cake of the day, so yeah. It's going well. Yeah. Brilliant. See what's coming up. side or this side? How would you like your help? <laughs> Don't tell me off, this is his route plan, not mine. I'm not responsible for this, but I'm stung to death. Ow! That's over. Just... to the end of our journey and it's been an absolute delight beautiful country road a bit of cheeky off-road the sun is absolutely boiling and I have to say I feel like I've had a really good trip and I'm not sure I want to ride tomorrow because tomorrow's been even hot and I think I might just melt and it just be blasting on fast roads so I might try and hit the trains on the way home and it means I might have a chance to edit this film <laughs> at some point soon 
But yeah, I just want to quickly talk about Jeff's rig here because he's done something very, very interesting. He's got on the back rack, as well as some hops, freshly from where? Where are the hops from? Just the hedge behind us. Very nice. But he just popped a rack bag on top, wedged it on. Front end is bike packing. He's more of a tourer than a bike packer, but he's using a little bit of both. Hybrid. Hybrid. Yeah. But how do you think the weight works out for you? It's good, but it's a very agile bike, so it handles it very nice. But because it's a bit lower, it's better than having a four pannier set up for what we've been doing today, for sure. <laughs> he's found a couple of cheeky off-road bits, which had a bit of fun and a bit of a giggle. Yeah. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm probably going to do one more before I get back, but probably wrapping up this adventure. Officially the end of the journey. I'm in Jeff's beautiful back garden. It's absolutely stunning. I'm done. I've accomplished what I wanted from friend to friend. And this whole trip's been based around that. And that's so magical to do. Till my next two friends are going to visit. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until our next adventures together. Ciao for now. Ooh.